All right, everybody. Today's the day. El Jefe is actually going to do some work on his keep um, since K45 released. Well, actually, since All Stars, really. I, I have not done a thing. Um, I've been, you know, just waiting to see uh, now the K45 is released. What other little trinkets they're going to release? What they might change? I don't know. Maybe some of the boxes were going to change and they were going to update my boxes and make them, make them all amazing, that uh, all my drops. So um, what I'm hoping to do is just go through everything, open things up. I'm going to start prepping for... Um, you know, going through to, to, to upgrade my buildings. Um, and I've got a little bit of a plan. Um, I, it's it's going to take a lot of resource, a lot of speed. So what I'm going to do is I've prioritized all my buildings to try to, you know, maximize the resources I've got uh, in boxes. And so I'm going to go through and open all these up. Um, and you can see I've got, I don't know, pretty good, pretty good, grouping of uh, boxes here I've got a lot of gold that I've done Vikings tried to stick to that um, done some spending I've got you know all the different battlefield boxes I've got yimmers I got pans I got golems I got you know all the things so basically I want to just go through these and open them up and see what I've got um, I've even got a bunch of um, you know, crowns and different uh, different monarch gear too, and I'll make sure I've got the highest level monarch gear I've got I need uh, to get this going. Um, yeah, I've even got a bunch of chests there, so I'll be opening all this stuff up, and I probably won't uh, bore you with all the details. I'm going to do some fast forwarding here, uh, so that you don't have to sit here and watch all this clicking. I know it's it's fun to see it all and and watch it, but once I open it all up and put it on the top bar, I'll I'll uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. So anyway, I'm going to get started here. I'm actually going to scroll down and just get started on the gold. All right, I am back. Uh, I, you know, I went through and opened up all those boxes and uh, moved around my subs and got the European subs. Uh, did all the stuff I needed to do. I, I didn't feel like trying to share all that and fast forward and make that interesting. So um, I just basically did all the building that I needed to do. Um, but I wanted to talk through my plan here. So I had, you can see my resources have changed dramatically as to what I was had open before. I, I I don't even know if I took a screenshot of the final box opening, but I had a number of um, optional packs, things from purchases that I had opened up as well. And I had to kind of finagle enough resources of certain types uh, that I didn't have. Um, you know, I did some farming, whatever. Anyway, so it was a little bit of a, a jigsaw puzzle to try to figure out how to get all these buildings open and make sure I had enough speeds and not open enough food. And so, again... If you've ever done any mass building, uh, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I uh, didn't want to bore you with all that. But now uh, I'll talk through what I actually did with all those resources and speeds. Um, so my goal was to get open up the Academy uh, 40 and get started on that research. Yes, I know. I can't believe you've waited this long. But, um, you know, again, I said before, I'm trying to do it as efficiently as I can. And... And so, yeah, I did that. I waited. Uh, but now we're here. So the other thing that I did was the first thing, um, I wanted to do victory column as high as I could. Uh, and the reason to do that, given, uh, again, trying to optimize the number of or minimize the number of speeds I'm using. So if we look at where I'm at now, I was able to get up to victory column seven. Um, and that first victory column seven, um, the real requirements uh, you know, the major thing there being the 
the general ascending. So when you go to six, you got to have five fully ascended generals, and then to seven, you have to have seven. Um, you also have um, requirements for the size. At six, it was uh, four generals, 7.5 million or higher in power, uh, and then for a victory column seven, it was five generals at eight million power or, or better. So I had both of those. Um, now going over to eight, I need 10 generals, and I've only got eight. Uh, again, I haven't gone through and, and ascended. I'm sure I can get that here soon, but again, I didn't want to rush through this. So I decided to just stop at seven for now, um, which is high enough. But you can see the ads there, construction speeds, research speeds. Again, really important as you're doing all this growth and some of these builds you're going to be doing there. Going to take a lot of speeds. Uh, whether that's in the new military academy or an academy, um, probably not as big of an effect, but the research speeds as well as all those big buildings and big builds. So reducing those construction speeds is going to be really important as well. So I was able to do that. Um, and for example here, I, you know, even on victory column six, uh, my initial build with, before I had moved the euros and set up all my monarch gear and the talents and all those things was about 5,600 days uh, in speeds and was able to get that down to 3,400 days in speed. So all that work to prep and get some of these victory column done early, uh, spend those resources on those type of things uh, just to reduce the number of speeds because speeds ultimately are going to be your limiting factor generally as you're doing these builds. So um, yeah, so that, that, was a bit, that was the first thing I did. Um, next major build I wanted to do was get the academy up to 40. Um, as you can see here, I was able to do that. Um, no reason to go to 41. There's no additional resources needed, or sorry, additional research available at, at Academy 41 at this point. Um, much like before when it was at 35, there was no research between 36 and, and 40. Uh, so now they added that. So I got that up to 40. I haven't done the research yet. I'll do a little video on that as well. I plan to break down some of that uh, research and look through what's important what's maybe you can wait on so uh, i will do that um, but again a lot of savings here on those builds smaller builds um, but nonetheless saved a number of uh, speeds doing that victory column first all right so got got academy up to 40. now um you'll a little sneak peek here um, i did start k42 um you can see that uh, i've got that cooking right now um, how do I show you that best? Well, you can just see it. Uh, that's K41 cooking there. So I was able to get K, uh, K42 cooking. Uh, I was able to get uh, K41 completed um, so that I could open up Military Academy. And you can see I've got Military Academy 6 done, sped up and, and completed. Um, I already had walls 40 done. Um, I also did walls 41. Obviously, I needed to do that to get K42 started. Um, so I did walls uh, 41 to get that completed. And then, of course, I did, uh, or maybe not a course, but I, I was able to do army camp as well as the rally spot. So a big, big thing for me was to get our, uh, my march size increased. I always like to have more troops in those rallies, uh, more troops for solos, all those things. So uh, march size for me was uh, an important one. So yeah, that's that's kind of my plan. And you saw I got K K42, I could speed that. Um, and actually, I don't think I have quite enough speeds for that, but um, that's okay to keep cooking for now because I don't have any additional resources that I can do any more buildings. So I'll just leave that uh, leave that sitting there while I'm waiting to build up resources again and do another push. Probably probably after challenge sometime, uh, maybe before All Stars. We'll see uh, what other things I want to build going forward here. But uh, the major things here to go over the academy and then military academy to be able to get that research going was the real big push there. Um, and then, like I said, March speed as well as the research in uh, or March size, I'm sorry, <laughs> March size uh, with that rally spot. And then also March size will be also within uh, Military Academy. There'll be a lot of uh, increases there as well. So that is that uh, I was able to do all that with that victory column seven helped out um, as well as all those euros that I had um, 
And now I'm going to be moving on to do some of that research I was talking about. Uh, so I'll probably do that in a separate video, but um, I'm going to take you through how to, you know, look at the research within the academy, figure out what it is is important. Uh, maybe to start off with, if you're limited on gold, you're limited on speeds. Um, you want to really put those points into those things that are going to help you the most. There's things like trap speeds and trap capacity and wall HP. And some of those things just aren't that important. Uh, they don't scale or they don't really have as big of effect as, as all those buffs will have uh, for your defending and fighting. Um, a lot of people think of Academy as just being defending. You know, I think they see those initial ones um, for defense. Um, but what you'll notice if you look a lot closer, there's actually more dedicated to individual troop buffs. Now, some of those troop buffs are associated to um, uh, each each troop type. So there's a lot of boxes that are really just for attacking um, and not defending in this uh, academy build. So overall, it's just a, a big uh, a big boost to your troops. Uh, whether you're you know sub K40. Um, or you're, you know, going from 40 to 45, you, you still get a lot of big uh, bonus to some of your base troop skills uh, uh, percentages. So really important that you go through those and do those, spend that uh, research uh, uh, speeds on those, as well as if you can get um, um, MA, MA6 opened as well, if you are K41 or K40 and um, able to get that open, this would be something also you'd want to use your march speeds on, but again, don't sleep on that academy. Uh, there is an awful lot of uh, buffs in there. So um, academy being, you know, the, the big one here, you know, the two ads they did were for, um, again, defense and also attacking. So in both cases, there's a little bit of each depending on the troop type that you want to do. Um, ground, the majority of the melee formations are obviously the ground uh, as well as the calves and then uh, your long range, which would be your, your ranged and uh, siege. So, uh, but you'll also notice you get into that detail and I'll do that as we go through. Um, you'll see that there is some crossover even in the long range. There's some buffs that are associated to uh, the ground and in, in, in the calves, as well as on the melee side, there's some range and siege. So it's really important to do both sides and pick those things that are important. I'll be focusing to get uh, march size increased uh, is one of my goals, uh, as well as just general buffs for everything. So, uh, but yeah, I'll take you through that as we, we go through. So you'll see, I, I put up a little bit of a synopsis just to give you an idea of some of the totals. Um, I, I was, I spent about 60,000 days in speed ups. Um, I actually spent 261, you can see there million or billion food. And then about, we'll just call it 330 340 billion of the other uh three types of resources so an awful lot of things that came out of that uh, i will also mention i i opened the boxes i also had to go into the black market because i ran out of ore of all things used to have tons of ore uh for some reason i stopped farming that as much and uh you know just not spending as much ore uh, but there at the end i think I, I just built out my layers for calves so Anyway, I had to spend a little time and gems in the uh, black market to finish off uh, that K42 build. So wanted to do that all in one, one fell swoop. But um, you can see the, the change there. Um, just to give you an example of K41, I didn't actually track this uh, for K42, but K41 was when I looked at the initial number of days for the build, it was 21,364. I was able to get that down to 12,870, so almost almost half of what it would have cost uh, to be able to uh, speed that building. So it's really, really important that you do go through and uh, work on that Celtic Dragon like I showed in the Dragon video, uh, as well as using the right Monarch gear, the talents, uh, get as many uh, European subs, uh, switch your switch your uh, culture to European. All that's to be able to give you uh, less speed ups as you click that build button. So really important, take your time, make sure you're set up to go. Oh, and also uh, treasures as well, making sure that treasure is on as well. So yeah, just a lot of little details that you just gotta take your time. Don't rush these things. Uh, you'll be happier in the end. I know you think you might have a lot of speed ups, but trust me, you will be running out of them at some point. So uh, these buildings do take a lot to get up.
and and build and finish out so yeah that's a walkthrough of that uh i'm gonna move on and i'm gonna let you guys go um but we'll see you on the next video i'll be taking you through research we'll see you then